Well, hello, I'm Viv with Art with Viv, and today we are going to do the cutest little Valentine puppy with watercolor, of course. So let's just jump right in. The first thing that I did was I sketched him out, then I made a nice dark mixture with some blue and some brown, and I am just painting in his eyes. Now I'm leaving a little bit of the white of the paper to show through in some tiny spots. That makes it look like it has some highlights in his eyes and then we are just going to go ahead and use that same mixture paint in his the base of his nose what i mean by the base is i mean that's going to be our base layer we're going to paint the whole shape of his nose with that one kind of gray gray color that we mixed for the eyes it's almost a black but when you add that extra bit of water it turns to gray i'm also outlining his lips with it and so that they can be a little bit more defined and i'm coming up to the eyes and just sort of closing in some of those eyes so now i am going to take some lighter sort of a brown and paint around the edges of his eyes sort of like his makeup almost it's a little bit of eyeliner now i've just got my brown and i'm going to do a nice light wash he has one side of his face has a brown patch so we're just going to paint that in with a nice pale brown very watered down and his ear is also that pale brown color now i've got a little bit of pink and i'm just putting it in his other ear his other ear is white so that pink really shines through with the light hitting it so I just put a little watered down pink over there inside of his ear. Now while his ear is still a little bit damp, I'm taking a darker brown and I'm outlining his ear and putting in some shadows. And just sort of taking a little bit of clean water, just blend that around. And Dorian Gray is cheering us on. Dorian Gray is my diamond dove. And when I talk, he thinks that I'm talking to him, so he starts to talk as well. So I've also went while that ear was wet and added an even darker brown and let the water just sort of softly blend it. And now I'm coming around the eye and doing the same thing. And then I am just going to sort darken up where the wrinkles are in his little face with just a little darker version has a little less water a little more pigment of that really pale brown so i've mapped out those wrinkles that are in his little face on this brown side i'm also coming in here and putting in the darker shadow under his ear making this a uh, shadow around his eye just a tad bit darker you can go to an even darker brown for that. And now I'm just taking a little bit of that brown that we used on the very first layer. And I'm kind of coming in there and going up against those lines that we made, darkening those up with just a little bit more of a darker brown so that we don't lose our wrinkles and our folds and just sort of blending out another layer of that brown on top. And it's okay, we can come back and define those wrinkles again. We don't have to get worried if they sort of, you know, um, disappear into the wetness. Don't worry about that. So I, I am adding a little bit more of the wrinkle shadows in there just to define them a little bit more. Now he has some gray spots on either side of his nose, under his nose. So I'm just painting that in really lightly. That's a really watered down version of the color that I mixed for his eyes. It's almost a black. Putting in his nostrils with a more concentrated version of that color. It's the same color, just more pigment, less water. Same color that's on the base of his nose, same color that's in his eyes, same color that's on either side of his lips there on the top. And so I'm just sort of defining his nose with these darker, this darker shade of sort of a charcoal gray almost black now his bottom lip also has a little bit of a gray spot so i'm just going to paint that in as well right now and he has some pink across his jowls here so i'm just doing a really really liquidy watery wash of pink across his nose and i have accidentally gotten some of this darker color 
reactivated, but I'm just going to blend it out. It looks fine. I'm not going to get upset about it. And I am going to come up here to his ear and add a little bit of darker brown, a little bit of brown and pink mix. And that's just the inside of his little ear. Now I am going to just darken up some of these wrinkle folds, the creases, darken those up so we can see those better. And add a few shadows, a few little details around his eyes with that darkest brown that I have. And I'm just going to keep darkening those up just a little bit. He is looking pretty good. I'm going to add a few more shadows, darken up some of the spots right under his, where his ear is folded over, and just sort of blend that other out with just a little bit of clean water. I'm lifting a little bit off of the middle of the folds, the wrinkles, just to lighten them up to give them a little bit more dimension. We're just doing a card, so we're, we're, not, we're not trying to do a masterpiece here, we're just doing a little Valentine card. Now I've taken a really watery gray mix, sort of a blue-gray mix, and I am going into the folds, going into his wrinkles, and just defining where he's white. He's, he's white on this one side, so I'm just going in there with this really pale gray to start defining his wrinkles and sort of showing where they are with this darker shadow color. Even though it's actually pretty pale, it still gives you the indication of where his little wrinkles are. So I'm just going to continue to do that and darken those up. And I will be back shortly. these darker gray shadows in where I want them and as dark as I want them I can come back and make them a little bit darker if I need to I'm just blending it out around that eye and darkening up some of the areas making sure I go like across the top of his head because I don't want his head to blend into the background so I want it to be defined and this is more of an illustration than a fine painting anyway this is more for just like a card so you don't want to get too involved with it. It would take too long to make it. Or if you want to, get involved with it. Make it as detailed as you would like. It's up to you, but I'm just not going that far with it. And I am just making some more shadows around this eye over here. And I've lifted a little bit out right above his eye just to make it look like a little eyelid there. I'm also adding a little bit of dark shadow um, where the top of his eyelid sort of folds down onto the bottom of his face. So I'm making a little shadow there to indicate that. And I'm putting just a little pink on some of his white wrinkles. His fur is so light that, you know, you can see through it. I'm just adding a little texture to the nose using some little dots. I'm going to darken up his bottom lip here. And... He is starting to come alive now. We're starting to really get the picture that he is a cute little brown and white bulldog. And he is just hanging over his little heart. He just wants to give his heart to somebody. Bulldogs are the sweetest dogs. We have had bulldogs for the last mm, 15 years. And we have or mm, probably longer than 15 years. Probably... I would say almost 20 years we've had bulldogs, different ones, you know, they've, they've all, you know, not all of them, but a few of them had went across the Rainbow Bridge, but we still have one left from our original pack, 
and she is 10 years old and she is still going strong so I hope that continues now I'm just adding some shadows to his little white paws and he also has a brown spot on his little elbow. So I'm putting that brown spot in there and then I'm going to darken up around his paws where his toes in between his toes and where his ear and the side of his face are casting a shadow onto his paw. So we want to just get those. Now you can go back in with even darker, a little bit of a darker gray and define those more if you would like. I think I'm going to move on and start with the flowers while that dries and we're just going to draw a wreath of flowers now you could make this a wreath of flowers a heart-shaped wreath of flowers or you could make it a solid color uh, heart that he's hanging on to totally up to you but i'm going to put flowers on mine and i'm just making little roses i'm using a nice hot pink uh, and i am just doing some little commas that face each other dipping my brush in water and then pulling that paint out to be the petals of the rose and it's just a really nice loose rose that I'm making here and then I'm just going to add some more orange flowers and they're going to be more like daisy like I'm not trying to get too detailed with my flowers I want them to be soft and loose and so far so good so now I'm going to mix up a little orange and put a little pink in it and then I am going to go ahead and do my sort of like daisy flowers so I'm just doing petals around an imaginary center and just um and making the petals look like they have a little bit of movement you don't want stiff petals you want them to have a little curve a little wave to them and I'm just going to continue that and you can fill that in later with the the center part with a little bit of cadmium yellow if you would like that's what I'm going to do with mine I'm also taking some of that brighter pink and just dabbing it around the very center and I'm going to continue that and we're just going to alternate roses and these nice little orange flowers and continue on around the heart. I'm going to let you watch and then I will return in just a second. get all your hearts I mean your hearts all your flowers in your heart wreath then I want you to mix up some green and go ahead and start adding some leaves around start filling in some of those spaces with some nice green leaves and I'm just making little oval shape shapes or leaf shapes I'm not doing anything fancy I'm just going to go ahead and just start do, putting in the shapes of the leaves and just go around filling in some spots um, just filling in the spots around the around the wreath I'm also just taking a little bit of darker green and touching that to want to like the bottom of the leaves just so that it'll give it a little bit of dimension so that it's not not one just flat color so I'm gonna continue with these leaves and I will be back shortly get all these little green leaves in I went and got some nice bright purple and I'm just doing some little dotty looking flowers I felt like it needed a, something else some other kind of flower so I'm just gonna go ahead and put these little purple flowers and it's just just painting a stroke and then doing dots on both sides of the stroke just sort of randomly and that makes sort of a, a little wisteria type flower and I'm just going to continue around just filling those in, filling those in, just to give it a little extra something, something. But the colors of the flowers are up to you. You don't have to do the same colors I'm doing. I'm just trying to think of something that would be nice and Valentine's-y. And then once you get all your little purple flowers in, you're going to move in and make a sort of a dark blue mixture not dark blue dark blue green and just add some dots and fill in I'm gonna let you watch and I will be back shortly so now 
now we've finished with all the purple flowers putting those in so now I've just mixed up a nice dark blue green and I am just going in and filling in some little spaces just with little dots of that dark blue green and again that just gives it a little bit of contrast because all of the flowers seem to be a pale color so I'm just trying to add a little contrast in there with this darker blue green and I think it livens it up some and it fills in some of the spaces makes the heart a little bit more thicker a little more cohesive and then once you do that you almost have him finished I'm just gonna take a little cadmium yellow put it in the centers of my flowers here and there just just little dots of cadmium yellow and there we have it a beautiful little bulldog thanks for watching and I hope you subscribe and I will see you soon Thank you.